Hey guys, the air conditioner here, because why not? Welcome back to some more of our Isle Adventures, and as you can see right here, we got a, a new face. We got the Baryonyx, which is, uh, you know, come out about like five to ten minutes ago, and I jumped immediately on it, because I had everything you needed to, uh, you know, get this guy, which is you need the Ostroraptor, and you need 30 points, and then right then and there, boom, you can turn into this guy, and he's pretty awesome. So, essentially what he is, is he's the next, you know, tier in the line of guys who eat fish, which this guy's eventually going to go to uh, Suko, or I think he already does. I don't really know, I'll have to check that later, but, yeah, and then Suko goes to Spino, etc, etc, yada yada. So, yeah, this guy, pretty cool, and I learned something right off the bat, with the fact that, you know, there's a mountain right there, and the fact that I'm stupid, I broke my leg, and he heals his leg pretty fast. Not like, oh, like in a minute or something like that, but like, eh, one, two to three minutes or something like that. Not that long, which is pretty nice, so, yeah, let's just quickly take a look at all his stats and all that stuff, and then we'll go try to find something, because I'm in absolute nowhere. I don't even think we're gonna find a body anywhere around here, but we'll try so we can check out the eating and drinking animation. Maybe even... Oh yeah, I forgot there's no swimming on this map yet, but yeah, so that's some stuff we can check out. Alright, let's open this. Alright, we have 750 health, 60 hunger, 60 thirst, and 150 stamina because apparently they uh, did like a nerfing thing to the whole stamina department where you know how everyone could just sprint for absolute years and never need to rest like at all? Yeah, they kind of fixed that, so no more like Dinosaur Olympics, as the update said. But, yeah, so turn that off, and let's turn this off so we have a nice, like, ah, oh, it looks pretty kind of thing. W with the uh, new sun effect, like, as you can see, I have shadows turned off, yet we still have, like, darkness, because of the uh, sun's, like, over there, and this is in darkness, because, you know, sun's not above this mountain part right here. And I think it looks pretty damn nice, like, even the trees are giving off, like, shadows, or that's just the mountain itself, don't really know, but... Yeah, so let's just check out all his uh, roars, and then we can go do something instead of standing here. Alright, so, we got the broadcast. Pretty cool. Then we got the, uh, you know, friendly one. Sounds really friendly. We got the angry one, which actually looks quite like the galley's, like, you know, his arms are out thing. And this guy's actually not that big. Like, I'd say he is about, like, shoulder height with, like, a galley or Maya or something like that. So he's not that big of a guy. He's kind of small. We got the... There you go, you got the help me one. Then we have, you know, your default roar. Pretty cool. And let's actually check out his biting and just essentially check out everything we can before we need to go find, like, another person, a.k.a. victim to, you know, test it out on. Granted, I think everyone's gonna be this, or I think some people are gonna go around being Rexes eating all these guys. I don't even know. But, yeah, so I guess you could say it's kind of good we spawned all the way out here. So we can actually check this stuff before we're getting just eaten. Alright, so this is our attack. Oh my god, he just looks, like, vicious, right? Let's zoom in on that. It's, like, crazy with this, like, rah! It's, like, ripping out whatever the heck it is. It's just nice, tiny chunks. Jeez. All right, so let's check out his, uh, limping. All right, he looks... Oh, he looks very, very hurt. He's like, oh god, kill me! All right, let's check out his resting. There we go, nice and... Nice and laying down. All nice and cozy, I guess you could say. All right, let's check out his running, because we don't really get a chance to properly, you know, check that out without, you know, breaking our leg, or at least risking doing that. Right, pretty cool. Like, he is not that fast. I think he can maybe, uh, hmm, what, what could he chase down? Probably like a trike, even though that would, you know, absolutely destroy him, but yeah, not the fastest of them, you know, like dinos, but granted, he's meant to eat fish, so he doesn't really need to be too fast, per se. But yeah, let's check out his trot. Alright, this is his regular walk, and we were actually doing the trot. Alright, so there we go. I guess you could say we kind of checked out about everything. We need the drinking, which, yeah, I don't even know if there's a lake near us or not. I think there's one over to our left over there, but I'm not going to risk it because it's like way out of our way, and I know for a fact that if we go directly forward, there's at least going to be something that we can go check out. And also, maybe there's some sort of massacre so we can go eat some form of meat or e even be a victim. I also need to find out what this guy's bleeding and damage is, which... Sadly, I don't have a, a partner who can go and, uh, you know, tell me those values, so... Ah, uh, that's a shame, but you know what? We have quite the long walk, and I'm not gonna make you guys sit through it, so... Here we go, jump cut! Okay, well, as it turns out, we didn't no need to go too far. I mean, well, granted, I did just walk for a solid, like, five or so minutes, and... I found a little Hera who... He was kind of friendly, he was, like, doing his friendly call and all that. The second I turned my back on him, he tried to lunge at me, and I two-shot him. So, yeah, this guy does pretty good damage, I mean... You can hunt these guys if you really want, so... You know what? Let's check his eating animation, see how that works. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. It's like he's, like, stripping directly the nice good bits from it. 
Alright, awesome. Let's check his hunger, see if it's actually going up or something like that. Ooh, going up by quite a bit. And that's actually pretty good, because, I mean, we were at like six or something hunger before, meaning, yeah, we probably were not gonna, you know, make it in the hunger department when it comes to, uh, you know, getting to the lake, which is just down over there. We're quite a ways away still. But yeah, look at that. We have quite the amount of meat. I mean, dang. I don't know if we're supposed to go up that high from one little Hera, but you know what? I'm not gonna really question it because, uh, hey, I, I don't feel like dying after I just got this guy. So let's go and go down this thing, and it's gonna be another, like, five-minute trek because, yeah, if anybody wants to know what the coordinates to the lake I'm going is, which is center, in case anybody for whatever reason doesn't know, it's negative 30 and then 30, which is directly over there. So hold, please. We're gonna go right over there instead of, you know, walking and doing absolutely nothing and just... Yeah, trying to whistle some sort of song as we go or something like that. I don't know. Here we go. Okay, and we're here, nice and uh, at the lake. And, of course, there's a, a Rex over here, which I'm risking it all, honestly, because I think he can easily outrun us. But, you know what? I think, you know, checking out what the drinking animation is is a lot more important than, you know, dying when... You can actually get to this guy pretty easily. Oh, so he's kind of, you know, your basic, like, Suko type drinking. All right. Nothing really special, but you know what? We checked it, and we actually need water as is. As you can see, we're, you know, we were like 40 or 30 points down, which is not that good. And he's running after something because, oh god, there's two Carnos over there. I have no doubt in my mind they would kill me in a heartbeat if they could. Well, not if they could, but if they chose to, because, you know, they could easily take me down. One, they're, I think, like, the fastest, like, guy in the game or something right now. Or maybe Galley is. Don't really know. But all I know is Raptors are kind of on our side because they can really... I think they can only go to Barry, or they can still go to, like, Utah or something. Yeah, I think they can, but, yeah, I also checked, and, you know, the, the what's this guy right here? Hello. Yeah, the, uh, Barry, he actually does go to, uh, Suko, which is pretty cool. So, hello, Utah Raptor. Hello. Here's hoping he doesn't, like, attack us or something. He's doing the, uh, teabag. Oh, yeah, we actually, I didn't even know we could crouch. We can crouch. Hmm. Good to know. Alright, so, I think the Rex just killed something over there. He's, like, trying to eat it or whatever it is. Hello. Oh, I think he's, like, sitting here with, like, a... For scale? So, yeah, he's not that big, the bear, berry here, but... Yeah, he's cool. Not gonna lie. Oh, hello. Oh, God. It's a car now. I think the only thing keeping me alive right now is the fact that this guy is new. Everyone's just like, ooh, what's this? Oh, he looks cool. So, yeah. That is the only thing keeping us alive, and oh, there's more guys coming out. Oh, is that a green dryo? Oh, cool. Hello. Oh, I think the... Is the Rex limping? Oh, yeah. All right, he's just scoping me out. He's like, hmm, nice tail. I like that. All right, so, yeah, they're just checking out my model. I wonder if this guy has any other skins besides, like, brown with, like, a, he dipped his, you know, head in, like, ketchup or something like that. And it just decided to harden before, you know, he wiped it off with a towel or something. But... Alright, let's go see if Rexy over here is friendly. Hello, Rex. How's it going? This is probably suicidal, but... Hello. I can't tell if that's friendly or not. Look at my newness. Look how new I am. Hello. Oh, God! Oh, God. Alright, I had a feeling that was a bad idea, but... I think he stepped on me or something. Oh, God. Well, there you go. God. But yeah, so as you can see, you got Dryo, Ostro, and then this is the new tree right here. We got Baryonyx, and then Suko. I think they're going to have a new raptor or something, so Ostro is going to go over here to uh, Baryonyx over there, and then something else is going to go to Utah Raptor or something. I don't really know, but yeah, so yeah, that's, I guess you could say that's about it, because I mean, I don't feel like spending a good, like, honestly, if you like do it like point-wise, because, you know, it takes 30 points to get to Ostro, and then 30 points to get to Barry. If you really want it, it takes about an hour, which I, you know, got the Ostro Raptor beforehand, and we're good to go. And I think the Utah right now is fighting the Rex because he's like, how dare you kill the Baryonyx or something like that. I don't know, but yeah, I think the that should be about it. Like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.